It was the final practice for the Philadelphia Flyers before they head out on what promises to be a very difficult week-long three-game road trip down south starting in Raleigh on Tuesday night. And there were two major players on the team not on the ice with the main club during practice today. I'm Charlie O'Connor with PHLY Sports, and these are your Flyers post practice notes. The Flyers got on the plane on Monday afternoon to head to Raleigh to face the Carolina Hurricanes on Tuesday. As I said, for the start of a tough three-game road trip, they'll then play the Tampa Bay Lightning on Thursday, and then the Florida Panthers on Saturday night. All playoff teams, all legitimate Eastern Conference contenders, and the Philadelphia Flyers right now are certainly not playing their best. They have just four goals combined in their last three games. They've averaged less than 20 shots on goal per game across those three games. Offense has been a major problem for this club over the past week. So what's the problem? We spoke with John Tortorella today after practice. I spoke with Sean Couturier after practice as well. In Tortorella's eyes, the big problem is that the team in the offensive zone, they're just too spread out. Defensively, he likes the way the team's playing. He feels like defensively they're playing very connected, but he feels like one of the reasons they're playing so connected is because they're having to play defense so much because of how poor the offense has been. He feels like if they play closer together with more puck support, the offense is going to come, but right now it just hasn't been there. As for Couturier, he certainly agreed with the lack of puck support being a major problem. He said that part of it is just the fact that players are playing two one-on-one. They're trying to, to beat their guys on their own without using their teammates. Now, Tortorella agreed with that. He said a lot of that is because there aren't teammates in the general vicinity for them to make plays too. So it was a little bit of a chicken and egg thing. Are they not making plays with their teammates because their teammates aren't there? Or are they just trying to make plays because they don't trust their teammates at the moment and they're trying too hard to get themselves out of the slump all individually? It's a major problem. The Flyers are not taking enough shots. They're not scoring enough goals. And as a result, they're not winning enough games. And they're going to have a really difficult stretch of games to try to fix this, starting with a Carolina Hurricanes team that dominates puck possession. If John Tortorella has concerns about how little the Flyers have the puck or have had the puck recently, that's not going to change against a Hurricanes team that has dominated the shots, chances, and goals battle at 5-on-5 so far this year. This is not going to be an easy trip for the Flyers. It also won't be easy if they don't have two key guys in the lineup. Both players were not on the ice with the team for practice today. I'm talking about Cam York and Sam Erson, their presumptive starting goalie. So let's start with York. So York has been out since October 23rd. He suffered an injury near the end of the game against Washington. He was initially given a two-week timetable. This was starting with October 26th. So that would put him ending that two-week timetable, which really was just a minimum rather than a he'll be back in two weeks type of timetable. That would take him all the way to Saturday. So that would be the Florida game. That would mean that if we assume that timetable still holds, and there's every reason to believe it does, he would miss the entirety of the road trip. John Tortorella did notably say that York will travel with the team, but he believes it's primarily for rehab. So maybe there's a slight chance he could maybe play in that Florida game, but he's certainly missing the first two games of the trip, and my guess is that he will be out for the entirety of the trip. So the defense will continue to have to make do without one of their best, if not their best, overall defenseman in Cam York. So what about Sam Harrison? Well, his status very much remains in question. He suffered an injury in the first period of Saturday's game against the Bruins, that 2-0 loss at home. Unclear when he's going to be back. It doesn't appear the injury is terribly serious, but it doesn't necessarily seem like he's definitely going to be back for this trip. Unclear whether he's going on the trip. John Twitterell was not willing to say one way or the other, but it certainly doesn't seem likely, at the very least, that he's going to play at the beginning of this trip, even if he does go, and very likely he won't play at all the entirety of the trip, which means it could be time for Alexei Kolosov, at least for now, to take control of the Flyers' net and try to guide them through, again, what promises to be a very difficult road trip. Aside from the likely absences of Arison and York, though, not too many lineup changes. There was a bit of a tweak to the top six in practice today. Tyson Forrester was up with Sean Couturier and Mafe Mishkov, whereas... Travis Konechny was down on the second line with Morgan Frost and Owen Tippett. This was a line change that Tortorella made mid-game on Saturday, clearly carried over to practice today. One guy who you should not expect to come out of the lineup, though, Emil Andre. John Tortorella really likes what he's seen so far from him, says he's really liked the transition element of Andre's game. Hasn't been perfect, as Tortorella noted, particularly defensively, but he believes they can work with him on that front, and it's led Tortorella to keep Yegor Zamula, who has been scratched the last, last few games, 
out of the lineup longer than he initially anticipated. That's not to say that Andre is going to play the entirety of the trip. They do want to get Samula back in. But for now, Andre is playing too well to stay out of the lineup, especially for the Flyers who are struggling to get wins, struggling to get goals. They're trying to find any spark they can get. And Emil Andre certainly has been providing at least a bit of one. That's it for today's post-practice notes. I'll be on the road trip joining the team for this week-long Southern Trek, so keep an eye out on our YouTube channel for that. I've been Charlie O'Connor with PHLY Sports. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Y'all silly like the mayor.